It was here, at Donald A. Wilson Secondary School, where a grade 10 student said she heard the N-word come out of a teacher's mouth. We saw two teachers walking towards us, and that's when we heard the remark. So what exactly did you hear your teacher say? Um, we heard, um, fast. She says it happened after a group of black students were denied entry into a volleyball tournament. The teacher allegedly said the gym was turning into a, quote, end fest. The student says she immediately reported what she heard to a vice principal and was shocked when she saw the teacher at school the next day. Jennifer is the mother of one of the boys. She says she's concerned with how allegations of racism are being handled and that the teacher is still able to communicate with the students involved. If my child had uttered a racial slur or something to a teacher, they would have been immediately suspended. I would have been called right away. It's been four months since the incident first came to light and there is still no resolution. The board has said that they have a third party investigating the allegations. It's an issue that we take seriously uh, and we have um, um, contracted the service of a human rights law firm to look into the situation. But Jennifer says it's students who are suffering in the meantime and her son has been reluctant to go to school. You feel different at school. Like you feel, like I don't really know how to explain it. You, you fit in, but you don't at the same time. I feel helpless, I feel frustrated, but I don't have a choice. I feel backed into a corner because my kid still needs an education. That report by Iman Bari. It's not clear how long the investigation will take. The mother you heard there says she was initially hoping for an apology from the teacher, but she now questions how the school and the board handle allegations of racism.